Hey, what's going on guys? Booster Whips here. Today we're going to be installing the M&S uh, side skirts and uh, cup wings. Uh, the cup wings are an, an optional uh, item, add-on if you will. And uh, they went ahead and they sent me some gear. As you guys can see, you got the hat, you got some uh, vinyl stickers there. And they provide all the tools that you need. You The self-tapping screws, there's uh, an actual self-adhesive there uh, logo, which will go on this little area right here. You get the 3M as well. And uh, yeah, so this model actually uh, comes off of the pre-facelift and uh, we were able to test fit it and it works perfectly for the 2022 redesigned Genesis G70. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it here, show you guys more or less how the process goes. I already installed the passenger side and I love the fitment. So everything fits perfect. Um, there are some little tedious areas for example on the rear end We're gonna have to go ahead and remove the wheel to kind of get the cup wings if you don't get the cup wings And you don't have to do that step on there, but I will cover that and uh, The 3m adhesive portion here. It does get a little bit tedious But with a little bit of work and a little bit of heat you should be able to get it done um, You also get to put um, some screws at the bottom and on the front of the uh, side skirt to further secure it you are gonna have to lift the car of course for a more comfortable um, working environment if you will just to get the kind of the screws on the bottom so let's go ahead and get started all right guys the very first step you want to do is go ahead and clean the area with a microfiber towel and some alcohol and all this area here is where we're gonna apply the 3m so it's gonna go on this corner here this corner here and just on this corner you don't have to apply here where the cutout is on that side. You don't have to apply 3M. This is the cup wing. And then I'll show you where you need to go ahead and apply on the side skirt. So what I like to do is clean the area first. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some alcohol in the areas that we are going to be putting the 3M on. This is just to kind of clean any excess dust or anything that might have gotten there during shipment. So. I want to make sure that it's nice and dry and then you can go ahead and apply the 3M. I'm going to go ahead and finalize the uh, drying here with the microfiber towel. Apply the 3M and I'll show you how that looks along with the side skirt. Alright guys, so here's the side skirt. So on the bottom area, you're only going to do three long strips. Like so. The part that goes on the top area it's gonna be fully uh, with 3M as you guys see here all the way to the end and then what you want to do is I like to peel the ones on the bottom which gives me enough leverage to kind of position the side skirt if you're working alone and the one on top we're just gonna rip just enough from one of the corners maybe halfway and leave the ribbon sticking out. I'll show you that now, and we'll go ahead and apply it with the 3M, and then we'll go ahead and put in the screws. All right guys, so I already have it on, as you guys can see. What I did is I took off half of the strip, as you guys see there, and I positioned it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera here, and I have it towards the back. So what we're gonna end up doing is, we're gonna be pulling this strip and we're gonna go ahead and push at the same time until we get to the end. On the uh, front end corner is where we're gonna go ahead and put the screw on. All you have to do is turn your wheel as you see it here to give you enough leverage to screw that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and finalize that and show you how it looks. All right guys, so as you start pulling on that strip, you wanna go ahead and push on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull some more. And you're gonna push every section until it's fully on so you guys can see it's a perfect fit there's no openings on there and they do recommend you um, heating up and you can use a air blow dryer or heat gun to um, pre uh, heat the uh, 3m I like to do at least on this section I heat it up the one on the bottom because I removed the red ribbon completely and I heat it up on this one what I like to do is I kind of heat it up on the top just a little bit, but not so much because if not, it's going to be a little bit hard to remove that red ribbon. 
I do it after the fact. So I'll go ahead and I'll heat this up section by section and I'll go ahead and I'll continue pressing until it's fully done. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and then I'll show you the screwing of the front end. All right guys, when you get on this area, you're gonna end up seeing a huge gap here. The only way to get rid of this is that's why you need to go ahead and screw this in. So you're gonna end up pushing and you're gonna self tap it one of the screws right in that area using one of these screws and using a drill, which will facilitate the process of course. And you just drill that in and that's gonna close you that gap that's right there and you're pretty much done. So I'm gonna show you how it looks uh, without the cup wings because you can order this without it and then uh, we'll go ahead and move to the optional installation of the cup wing. All right, so here's the side angle. Once it's fully done, we still need to go ahead and screw at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift the car and uh, put in the five screws that are required at the bottom of the car. And, uh, but that's a pretty much it. So this is how it looks. And then uh, we'll go ahead and add the cup wings and cover that process. All right, so here's the screw points. As you guys can see there's one. I did it like about every two feet or so. Here's the next one. And you want to get as close as you can to the edge. Here's the next one. And so on. So those last two, I did them close to each other. But more or less, you get the idea. It's hard to get here below the camera. I have it on jack stands, so there's that. All right, to install the rear cup wings, you need to go ahead and remove the wheel. I'm using an impact uh, drill here, 21 millimeter socket is what you need. I'm gonna finalize the rest and go ahead and remove the wheel. All right, the very first thing you wanna do is go ahead and align this. You go ahead and you remove the red ribbon off of the 3M. You can heat it up, which is recommended. And you wanna go ahead and press on this area first. Make sure that everything is aligned. Once that's aligned, you can go ahead and align the bottom and go ahead and press further. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. As you guys see here, we're gonna go ahead and push that forward so it can align. And then you're gonna press at the bottom. And there you go. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the screws. There's two that go at the bottom and one on the back. All right. What we're gonna do is end up screwing it as close as possible as we can to the corner here. Using again, self-tapping screw and a power drill. And you don't wanna go all the way in, meaning over twerking it. Like so. If you start pushing it way too in, this starts to detach. So you wanna do is, if you do see that, go ahead and unfasten as you guys kinda saw me there. And then what we're gonna do is apply more heat on here and we're gonna press and hold. But you wanna make sure that it's not all the way torqued in there. I'm gonna take it off just a little bit notch more and that should release that pressure. All right guys, that's how it looks once it's fully done. Again, there's two screws at the bottom. It's hard to show on camera, so I didn't want to get in the frame. It comes out really bad um, since the car is not really on a real lift. It's hard to kind of see under there, but two screws, one right here in this corner, one towards the back end, and one in the front, as you guys saw, and that's it. All right, guys, so here's the final product. This is the passenger side. I'll go ahead and I'll show you the driver's side, but I think it looks real good. All right, guys, I also forgot to mention, don't forget to go ahead and put your nice M&S badge once you're done. And here's the driver's side. That's how that looks. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, and subscribe as always. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead and drop them below. Until next time, boost the whips.
I'm out. Have a very pleasant day and God bless.